Hello and welcome. I'm Master Lama Rasaji, and this is our Wednesday version, which Chen likes to call Hump Day for Rasaji Speaks. What is our title today? Turning Away from Sinful Behavior. That was a big infinite, uh, emphasis of our Uncle Enoch. We referred to Enoch in the Lama series, Uncle Enoch, because we refer to Bogonathar as the father of Tai Chi Gong. And being the father of Tai Chi Gong and the influence of Enoch, rightfully, the Lamas would refer to Enoch as Uncle Enoch. Enoch, in a kind of more subtle way, did a lot what we heard Elijah do. And then Elijah's next incarnation is John the Baptist, as he's standing in the River Jordan and repenting. You know, here we are in the midst of Lent, right in the middle, getting close. Easter's around the corner here in the next three to four weeks. And remember, John was hammering it hard about now. Repent, repent the good news. Yet, if you understand, last week I revealed a different spin on sin. <laughs> a different spin on sin, right? So the fundamental churches will thump the Bible and tell you you're born of original sin. You basically can't get out of sin. You're a mess. They always play us to be a victim kind of consciousness. A lot of the non-denominational churches are a lot more accurate today. Have you noticed that? Joel Osteen springed a whole lot of wave of this in the last two decades. And now it's okay for a Christian to have money. Now it's okay for you to overcome sins. With Jesus' help, you can overcome sins. Well, the core of the teaching of the church kind of really teaches that. Jesus makes that clear. But if sin means to fall short, when you take aromatic, run it through Latin and back to English, it means one who falls short. Well, I don't want to say that I'm sinning all the time, especially if I'm consciously trying to keep from doing bad. It's also making a reference in that mindset that there's only bad karma. There's no such thing as good karma. There's a lot of people that don't even believe in the fundamental concept of karma in the West. And yet Jesus talked about what you weep, you sow. If you sow wheat, you won't get corn. If you sow wheat, you'll get wheat. If you sow corn, you'll get corn, right? The mindset is, right? Are you going to go to your car mechanic and ask them to do brain surgery? on? I don't think so, right? So here's the key. What was at the root of it? During this Lent season, we're given extra power and extra strength by Master Rabbi Jesus, by angels, Archangel Gabriel, Raphael, Michael, to turn away from our bad, lower vibrational habits. Right? And this is how you do it. First, you turn away from low vibrational actions. Next, you weigh what's coming out of here. The power in life and death is in the tongue, according to scripture. So first, we're going to turn away with our actions and quit doing lower vibrational stuff. Then we're going to watch our words. Is it true? Is it kind? Is it necessary? Is it true? Is it kind? Is it necessary? If not, the Lama series says it probably doesn't need to be said. Then we're going to change this. So we're going to back into the action 
of here back into the action of here, right? I'm seeing people on TV now talking about a mental disease that they have no control of, that constantly negative thoughts, oh my God, negative thoughts are entering their consciousness. And now psychologists are starting to say that this is a mental disease. <laughs> Again, playing the victim card, right? Let me go sit on a couch and have somebody charge me $75, $150, $450 an hour to empower my victimhood instead of the willingness to change, right? This is how you change this. The oldest yoga on the planet, over 50,000 years old, is Mantra Japa Mala Beads here. Check out our store. Go to circleofchi.com slash store, and you'll find that we're always in the top five in America of selling prayer beads, which we believe it is the weapon of this age. And based on what I just shared with you, this OCD, that is, you're supposed to have no control over that, right? Oh, come on, give me a friggin' break. Telling somebody you cannot control your thinking process? Next thing, they'll be saying something as ridiculous as thoughts are not created. And yet, have you ever noticed that if you dwell on something long enough, it'll show up in your life? Dwell on it long enough, it'll show up in your bank account? Dwell on it long enough, it'll sh show up beside your bed? Dwell on thoughts long enough, and it'll show up in your body as maybe an illness. Dwell on things long enough, and you'll prosper beyond all measure. Dwell on things long enough, and you could have the health that you never dreamed that you could have. Isn't that something? In other words, if I'm thinking a series of thoughts... And I'm noticing that those things are showing up in my life. Then I look in the mirror and I say, I must be a part of the CIA. Not that dwarf institution that calls themselves intelligence. No. Co-creator with the divine co-creator, right? The creator in action. The creator in action. Did you know this transformation that's happening right now in this Lenten season is happening because God's children are listening to him. And if we didn't slow the mind down by using these and breathing energy instead of just breathing oxygen and putting space between our thoughts and slowing down the rhythm, you can change your mind just as easy as you can change rhythm and music. I know that was a professional dancer for over two decades. Know a little bit about rhythm. Know a little bit about dancing to it, right? We can change that. That means we can push aside the negative karma and create all the good karma we want. What will start to happen to us? When we turn around one day and all we're creating or 90% of the time is good karma. 
Well, my brothers and sisters of Tai Chi Gong and the circle of Chi, good karma will show up and good karma will show up. God bless you. See you tomorrow on the Thursday's edition of Versace Speaks. Baraka Bashai, may the blessings be to you and your glorious family. Can't wait to see you guys. Know that you're too blessed to be stressed. God bless you.